Today, we will be testing the JMARSX clone indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar Patreon, and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the JMARSX clone indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 51 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We have also tested a total of 642 indicators with 258 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test most of these indicators and strategies on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the JMARSX clone indicator, and you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. So the setup on this is relatively easy. I did go in and make a slight modification. So on the overbought level red, I did take up the line weight to the third one here, and on the oversold level green, same deal, took up the line weight to this here, so that way they stand out really well. Um, as you can see, we have an overbought and an oversold type scenario, and we have the oscillating line here. We've seen many indicators like this before. So we, the oscillating line is moving within this middle section, kind of indicating that there is range taking place, consolidation. And then when we get a move um, outside of the bands, either the upper band or the lower band, then that is a sign of um, kind of an extension and price action overextended. And we're looking for it to reverse um, back in the opposite direction. And so when we get the oscillating line that comes up above the uh, top line here, the red line, then we are looking for it to then reverse, come back down below that red dashed line, and then we will go short. On the opposite side, we're looking for that oscillating line to break down below the green dashed line here, indicating that it's in a um, oversold uh, scenario. And then we're looking for it to cross, cross back up above that green dashed line. When it crosses back up above that green dashed line, we are going to go long. Like I've said, we've seen many indicators like this before, tested them uh, the same way uh, multiple times. And so let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. All right, so the first signal that we pick up is a short signal. I know it's hard to see, but if you look at the coordinates right here above my cursor, you can see that those coordinates show exactly where 
um, the oscillating line is at any given point in time on that particular candle. And if you see that if I hover over this candle right here, it did break above that 70 marker, which is the dashed line. Um, and so it broke up above that dashed line just barely. So it hit 70.020, just barely made it above it. And then on the very next candle, it crosses down below that one, giving us our short signal. And we get a nice push to the downside there, getting us to our take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, the next signal that we pick up is a long signal. We get that cross down below that green dashed line down into the oversold area. And then it crosses back up above right here on this big, big candle right there. Luckily, we get enough momentum pushing to the upside there that continues to carry us up there really nicely, crosses up above our take profit and uh, gets us where we need to be. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, the next signal that we pick up is a short signal. Again, we get that oscillating line, breaks up above that top dash line there, that red line in the overbought area. We then get it cross back down below right here on this candle. We do get a little bit of a push to the upside there, which gets a little bit close to our stop, but not quite hitting our stop before it then slowly trickles its way down, pushes down just far enough there to get us to our take profit. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and fast forward through the testing, that way things don't take too long, and we'll pick this up when we're at the end of the year. All right, so that's gonna put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in selling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon-only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested. That comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here. All right, get everything in focus. Pretty easy there, count it out. One, two, three, four, and five. And we have one, two, and three winners. So that will get us to that 60% criteria that we were looking for. Now, which it definitely gave us more trades within the one year's time. Five trades isn't wonderful, um, but it did so uh, somewhat accurately. At least it hit that 60% criteria. Um, all in all, seemed like a pretty solid indicator, definitely keeping you out of the consolidation when that was taking place. Uh, but there might be a little bit better um, use for it in, um, in kind of that aspect of maybe consolidation filter or something like that. Nonetheless, uh, it did all right, so it is going to go on the yes list, and we will move on to the next indicator from here. 